हाय नमस्ते इस कॉल का अनुवाद किया जा रहा है और उसका लाइव कैप्शन जोड़ा जा रहा है हाय हेलो आई एम कॉलिंग टू आस्क फॉर मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द लोकल म्यूजियम हेलो मैं स्थानीय संग्रहालय के बारे में अधिक जानकारी मांगने के लिए बुला रहा हूँ नमस्ते क्या आप स्थानीय संग्रहालय के बारे में अधिक जानकारी के लिए कॉल कर रहे हैं हेलो आर यू कॉलिंग फॉर मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द लोकल म्यूजियम यस दैट्स करेक्ट कैन यू टेल मी समथिंग अबाउट इट हाँ यह सही है क्या आप मुझे इसके बारे में कुछ बता सकते हैं Hello. I'm calling to ask for directions to the nearest subway station. Hello. Are you asking how to get to the subway station? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you saw in the preview, today we're taking a look at Samsung's Live Call Translate feature, which is a part of Galaxy AI. This is one of the headline features of their latest mobile phones in 2024, the Samsung Galaxy S24 series. They first introduced this feature during their unpacked event in January of 2024, which is the same time as when their newest flagship, the S24 Ultra, was announced. What's interesting about this functionality is that it's built in into the device's native phone app, and that you don't need a separate application to use it. The translation is also done on device and is not sent over through the internet, which is important for privacy and security. 13 languages are initially supported with plan to expand to more languages in future updates. This sounds like a very useful functionality, so we needed to try it out in actual live calls. Our first attempt is to do a call between a caller that speaks English and receiver that speaks Korean. This is the actual unedited call without cuts, having both the speakerphone and live translate functionality enabled. In order for the live translation to start, The caller has to say something to trigger the functionality and notify the receiver that call translation Hi. is being used. Hello. 안녕하세요. 이 통화는 실시간으로 번역되며 화면에 텍스트로 표시됩니다. 안녕하세요. Hello. 안녕하세요. I'm calling to ask 안녕하세요. for directions to the nearest subway station. 가까운 지하철역으로 길을 물어보려고 전화드렸습니다. 안녕하세요. 지하철역까지 가는 Hello. 방법을 물어보시는 건가요? Are you asking how to get to the subway station? Yes, that's correct. Could you please tell me which exit to take? 맞습니다. 네, 제가 알려드릴게요. Yes, I'll let you know. 네, 제가 알려드릴게요. 먼저 지하철역에서 Yes. I'll let you know. First, come out of the subway station at exit 3. Thank you. Is it easy to find from here? 감사합니다. 여기서 찾기가 쉽나요? 네, 3번 출구에서 나오시면 바로 보일 거예요. 좋은 여행 되세요. Yes, you'll see it right away when you come out of exit 3. Have a good trip. Thank you. Goodbye. 감사합니다. 안녕히 계세요. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. As you saw from the call, they were able to have a basic conversation, and although there were some mistranslations, they were both able to convey their intent to the other end. We also noticed that because the receiver can also hear the caller's voice, they will tend to try to answer back immediately if they understood what the caller said in English. They will do this even without waiting for the translation, which may affect the flow of the conversation. Fortunately, we found the setting which allows you to mute your voice in the call and let the other person only hear a translation of what you say. This should make it easier for the receiver to follow the conversation since they will only be hearing one language on their end. 
You can also even mute the receiver's voice so that both of you will only hear voice translations in your own languages. Though we feel like we'll lose the human element in the call if both of these options are enabled, since both parties won't hear each other's actual voice anymore. With the better settings in place, let's try another call. This time between a caller who again speaks English and a receiver who speaks Hindi. Namaste. Hi. Namaste. This call ka anubad kiya jata hai. Hello, I'm calling to ask for more information about the local museum. Namaste. Kya aap sthaniya sangrahale ke baare mein adhik jankari ke liye call kar rahe hain? Hello, are you calling for more information about the local museum? Yes, that's correct. Can you tell me something about it? Yes, of course. In the local museum, you will find a unique collection of historical and cultural objects. Thank you. Is photography allowed here? हाँ, फोटोग्राफी की अनुमति है, लेकिन यहाँ वीडियो लेना मना है। Yes, photography is allowed, but it is forbidden to take videos here. What are the timings, and do I need a ticket? समय क्या है और क्या मुझे टिकट की आवश्यकता है? संग्रहालय का समय सुबह 10 बजे से शाम 6 बजे तक है। टिकट आपको यहाँ से ही मिलेगा। the time of the museum is from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. You will get the ticket from here. Thank you for your help. Welcome if you need any more help, please let me know. All right, thank you. Goodbye. Alvida. Goodbye. The conversation was a lot smoother this time. We're also impressed with the accuracy and translation speed, considering that everything is being processed locally on device. We saw a lot of reviewers rating this functionality as mediocre at best, but we think that it's actually useful enough if you treat it as a tool. We appreciate that this functionality exists and it can only get better from here over time with updates. And speaking of updates, Samsung is also planning to roll these AI features to some of their older devices, like the Galaxy S23 series, Galaxy Flip 5 and Galaxy Fold 5. They are expected to receive this update by the end of March 2024. Also, at the time of making this video, they just released an update to their language models to improve the translation feature. And that's our thoughts on Samsung's real-time call translation feature using Live Translate. Please let us know in the comments if you want us to check the other Galaxy AI functionalities, or if you have a different opinion to any of these features. We would also appreciate if you hit the like button, and subscribe to our channel, if you find this video useful. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.